they weren't that bad. It's just, you know, you gotta have a... For a kind of person that likes, like, extremely hot wings, you have to be, like, one of those persons that can tolerate, like, hot and spicy stuff. My personal opinion about eating the wing, when I took the first bite, it wasn't as bad, but a few seconds later, it just, it just went into burning mode. Now, me, on the other hand, I haven't had any spicy stuff, and Warheads doesn't count, so technically, I'd probably say I really wouldn't have made out in that too well. I mean, not saying that I'm a failure at <laughs> It's just some of these times when I do that, I'm not very good at it. It did burn, but it wasn't, it wasn't very bad. Um, I would, but if that would be the case, I'd probably only try like maybe a small, tiny bite of it and not even big. Hell yeah, I'd do it again. I would definitely do it again. Uh, yeah, but the burn lasted for quite a while. <sighs> oh, I three, man. Go away! Well, yes, the milk did cause relief for a little bit, but after a few seconds it came back. Oh, it still burns. Mocha! <sighs> oh, that was not a good idea. That was probably one of the worst ideas I've ever had. Besides eating dog food. It feels like my tongue has third degree or second degree burn. It feels like my lips have third degree burns. Well, once again, shout out to my dad for bringing the suicide wings. Thank you, Dad. But if you think I'm, if you think I'm a kid, think I'm too childish for thinking, saying a thing to my dad. And you have no respect for zombie, Chief Aljo, or a death row. <laughs> Jokes. And as, soon, and as soon as the three of us get home, we are we are probably eating, gonna drink slushes, put our put ice on our tongues or lips or whatever, wherever we can to cool our tongues off. Chief Aljo, any final words for the challenge? Oh, and guys, do not try that at home. No. Do not. Unless you're trained professionally. Am I right? I'm allowing you to come over. I'll take that as a yes.